In this tutorial we're going to make a layered pad sound. Using Silent One's dual filters and cross modulation capabilities it's possible to create some relatively complex pad sounds. Click the menu button and select init preset then turn up oscillator A1's number of voices to 8 and set its detune level to about 3.5. Turn off the retrig button so the voices are free running. Click the C button at the top right hand corner of the oscillator A1 panel and use the P button on the top right hand corner of the oscillator A2 panel to paste the settings to the oscillator. Drag A2's octave parameter down to minus 1 to tune it down an octave, then select part B and paste the oscillator settings onto oscillators B1 and B2 as well. Tune B2 up 7 semitones using the note parameter. The sound is a little loud, so either turn down the main volume or, or put in a limiter on the Silent One channel. We want a smoother amplitude envelope, so turn up part B's amplitude envelope attack and release times to 5 or so, then copy and paste the amplitude envelope settings to part A. Activate Silent One's phaser chorus delay reverb and compressor effects. This gives us a rather pretty pad sound already, but we can get something a lot more complicated using the synths filters. Set part A's filter type to low pass and part B's filter type to band pass. Set both their filter cutoffs to 30Hz and their resonance levels to 5. Doesn't sound great thus far, but we can use Silent One's envelopes and LFOs to modulate the filter cutoff. Turn the synth sync mode at the top of the interface off and set LFO One's first destination slot to cutoff A. Set the modulation amount to 10, the gain to 2.86 and turn the rate up to 0.14Hz. Next set LFO 2's first destination slot to cut off B with a modulation amount of 10, a gain of 2.86 and a rate of 0.28Hz. These LFO rate values are pretty low and that's because we're going to use the envelopes to modulate them. We're also going to use the envelopes to modulate the filter cutoffs. Set mod on one's destination slots to cut off A and LFO to rate with modulation levels of 5.5 and set the attack and delay to 7.64 and 8.22. When you play the sound now you can hear the uh, rate of LFO to changing as it modulates cut off B. Now set mod on 2 to modulate cut off B and LFO 1 rate with levels of 3.6 and 5.8 respectively. And then in the filter control panel, set the key track knob to 0.5 and activate the warm drive mode. Though we turned up the amplitude envelope times earlier, the sound still ends a little abruptly. That's because on uh, note release, the, uh, on the modulation envelopes just dropping straight to zero. So um, let's turn up the amplitude envelope release times to eight and then turn the modulation envelope release times to about five. So this, this gives us a bit of breathing space at the end of the sound where the volume of the sound's f fading out and before that the, uh, the modulation envelope amounts are heading down to zero as well, which you can hear because the amplitude envelope is longer.